so we are going to solve problem 3.30 from Sadiku book and we are going to find V0 here and I0 here using nodal analysis so first I will set the bottommost node as our ground so the voltage here will be 0 and this one this V0 from the ground so I name this not V0 and because this is a voltage source and this one is V0 and the positive sign is here so this one is must be 96 less than this node and then what can we do next we name this node as V1 and for this node it is 80 volt from the ground so it is 80 and for this node it's for V0 from the ground sorry about this this is for V0 and make that clear for V0 and what can we do next we can do KCL at V0 and I will assume that this current will be going down and this one is of course going up and by KCL we have the current that goes in here is equal to the current that goes out the current that goes in we have this one I0 and this one 2I0 so we will have I0 plus 2I0 and then the current that goes out is this one we can calculate that using Ohm law so V0 divided by 80 and we will have 3 I0 is equal to V0 divided by 80 or V0 is equal to 240 I0 and we can calculate I0 using Ohm law again so V0 is equal to 240 times I0 can be calculated using this resistance so this one is V1 and minus that one V0 minus 96 and it is divided by this resistance 40 and we can cancel this one can cancel this one and this will be 6 and I will have V0 is equal to 6 V1 minus 6 V0 minus 96 and what can we do next we will have V0 is equal to 6 V1 minus 6 V0 plus 5 7 6 and then this one will equal to 7 V0 minus 6 V1 is equal to 5 7 6 and let's save this as equation number 1 and now what can we do next we still have one more node here we will have KCL at V1 and I will assume this current is going here and this current is going there and the current that goes in there is two current that goes in so I will sum them 80 minus V1 divided by 10 plus this one is 4 V0 minus V1 divided by 10 and that will equal to I0 or V1 minus V0 plus 96 divided by 40 we can multiply both sides by 40 so we will have 320 
minus 4v1 plus 16v0 minus 4v1 and that will equal to v1 minus v0 plus 96 and I can move this to the uh, I can move the 96 to the left hand side and the other to the right hand side so I will have 224 is equal to minus 17 V0 plus what we will minus 4 minus 4 become minus 8 minus 8 to the right hand side I will have 9 V1 and let's have this as equation number 2 so we have equation number 1 and equation number 2 what can we do here to solve this I have 6 here and I have 9 here so what can I do is I multiply the first equation by 6 and I multiply the second equation by 4 and let's see what we get here so 7 v0 it's become 42 v0 minus 36 v1 is equal to what is it my calculator times 6 is equal to that number 3 4 5 6 and then this one times 4 and that should be minus 68 v0 plus 36 v1 is equal to this number and then we can add both equations and this will cancel each other and for the v0 we will have minus 26 v0 is equal to And we will have V0 is equal to this one minus. One hundred and seven sixty one hundred and sixty seven point thirty eight volt and this is for V zero and for I zero we know that V zero is equal to two hundred forty I zero so I zero is just V zero divided by 240 and what do we get here we divide this one divided by 240 and I will have minus 0 point six nine seven ampere or it is minus uh, I think this enough no no need to change it to milliampere so this is our final answer this is for V0 and this is for I0 Thank you for watching and let me know if you find any mistake in our calculation.